Hi there, Ian here again from Alka Way. And uh, some time ago, I did a video explainer on the new forms of hydrogen production uh, portable, uh, what would you call them, bottles, I guess. And I showed you this one, and I showed you this one, and also showed you this very sexy looking little one. It's a bit like a lightsaber, as far as I'm concerned. All of them operate on the same principle, and that is you fill them up with water. To, having filled them up with water, you turn them on, and the water inside has uh, infused hydrogen added. Okay, now they have different uh, advantages and disadvantages, these ones, um, but let's put these ones aside for a moment because these are different now. These ones, this one, and this little guy here, which I've just got, they get smaller as they go. They all operate on the same principle and they're using electrolysis. Now, the difference between their electrolysis and... You know, I'll just show you this one. See that? All right, it's got plates either side. Uh, very, very simple. Very, you know, quite cheap and, and quite good in the way it's made. Um, but they use electrolysis. Now, they use electrolysis in a way that is quite different to the way that a, an el electrolysis using electronic water ionizer does it because the electronic water ionizer inputs the water into an electrolysis chamber which is electrically charged just like this and it separates the water into alkaline and acid now uh, the truth of the matter is that that began many many years ago as a design to create what they called alkaline water which is actually high pH water that's another story but the important thing is that it splits the water and when it splits the water any chlorides in the water uh, re go out into the acid water now if they didn't what would happen is for instance your NaCl uh, your, chlor your sodium chloride it would split in two and you would have sodium on one side, chloride on the other, chloride going out in the acid water, sodium going out in the alkaline water, which, as it's supposed to work. The difficulty that we have with these ones is that, and this one, and this one, is that they don't separate the water. They use electrolysis, but they don't separate it. And what that means is that the water you get, yes, you know, it's got hydrogen, uh, about you know, 0 0.6 thereabouts, it, it, it's okay. But if you have any salt in the water, you're probably going to have chlorine in the water that comes out. There's also the possibility of having ozone in the water that's coming out because of this mixing principle. Okay? So, let's just put those aside and let's have a look at these guys. These guys are quite different because they've taken this idea, you fill it up and, let's see if it's got any juice in it, you turn it on. And you can see the hydrogen being produced, okay? But what's also happening with these two, unlike these two, is that they are splitting the alkaline and acid streams, or if you like, um, the, you could use many names for them, the positive and negative streams, it doesn't really matter. But the point is that as it's working and the hydrogen is being, being infused into this water here, underneath, we've got a little tank that is getting the wastewater, okay? And that slowly fills up, and, and if you look, you can see at the moment, there's just a little bit there, and uh, you can take it out and empty it after a few uses. So it's the same sort of principle as these, but it splits the water, which makes it, from the safety point of view, and the, and the sort of water that you want to drink, much more preferable. Okay, I hope that helps. Uh, I think this is a pretty sexy little unit. Uh, the problem with these has always been the cost, uh, and the problem with these is also the cost. Uh, these ones were getting cheaper and cheaper, but you know, it's just like, would you pay $200 for this stick? Okay, that's what it comes down to. Now that we have this sort of principle happening, uh, makes a lot more sense. Now, given the volume that you've got in there, which is about 300, 350 mil, it's still not enough, and it's going to be painful to do it all, all day. But if you took that to work, and even if you put your ultra-stream water into it before you went, and then you gave it another charge, you'd have pretty darn high molecular hydrogen water, and it would be fresh as fresh, you'd take the top off and you'd drink it. So in that sense, it's a good idea. Okay.